G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So we're heading down to Springwood, Mid Mountains, New South Wales, and we're gonna go and check out old charcoal chicken spot, charcoal chicken at Springwood. And we have been there before, it was about three months ago, and the prices were phantasmagorical for a local takeaway shop. So there was a few things I was wanting to get, but we can't get it all at once. I am gonna either get a hamburger with a lot or a steak sanger with a lot. Not sure yet. The struggle is real to make that decision. <laughs> but I'll circle back to you when I know more. And we might get it as a combo. Now, I also want to go there to see if the prices have changed. If it's still the prices from three months ago, I will be a happy little chappy and you guys will think OMB. So folks, I'm going to head in, grab the goods. I'll circle back to you with either a hamburger with a lot or a steak singer. I'll be back. And we're back, babies. And we definitely got a sweet little deal. I went with the old steak singer. You can already see in there how thick and how chunky that looks. Tips. And a beverage, you know, we went with a Kirk's creaming soda. We haven't had one of those for a while. All this, the whole kid and caboodle. Tips. Steak singer. Drink. 16 smackers could you believe it 16 buckaroonies must be the best oh man that's look you got to work out the whole that thing bloody hell that's <laughs> amazing value now looking back at the old footage from three months ago and i'll put that up so you can see the menu board i'll put a little bit up 16 bucks was what it was three months ago and it still is now i was said i was tossing up between a hamburger with a lot and a steak singer Believe it or not, the hamburger with a lot with the combo was 14. So could have even been cheaper, but we might get back to that one day. Now, this is Probably one of my favorite takeaway shops ever. Not just because of the cheapness, but that does help. But also because the food ain't too bad either. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story here just before I wrap the old laughing gear around the steak singer. Back in the old days, when I was a young whippersnapper, I used to get food wrapped up like this in the old butcher's paper. And you'd walk off to your mate's place after you got your takeaway go for a walk before we had cars and whatnot when we were kids you just keep pulling stuff out chips chips are on point a bit of chicken salt sorry folks just had a little camera malfunction good old gopro so reliable not anyway i'll cut a long story short we used to walk down the road grab your fish and chips go off to your mate's place but keep them in a the wrapper like that and just keep putting your hand in there and pulling stuff out and whacking it in your gob. I'm going to ditch this guy because it slips sliding away. So chips, totally on point. Try this one day if you get your butcher's paper. Just grab all your stuff. Fish cakes, fish cocktails, calamari rings, whatever you want. You do you, boo-boo. And just keep having a little dunkaroony and pulling out whatever comes. You'll have to do it. So on to the star of the show, the old steak singer. Now, believe it or not, on its own, the whole kit and caboodle, the whole box and dice was 16 bucks. Unbelievable value from a local takeaway shop. Oh man, that's so weighty. But this was 12 bucks for a steak singer with a lot. Four bucks for the combo. Can you believe that? It just doesn't get any better than this. This has got to be, it's got to get a neat slit. I'm loving it. I'm giving it five stars out of five for value. There it is, folks. The old steak singer. Things are just falling off. Husky heater onion. But will everything be on it? Looks like you got your beetroot, tomato, egg. Is there cheese? Let's find out. Let's pop the lid. Oh, there's a pineapple. 
I can see a piece of bacon here on the paper, so we know there's bacon cooked to perfection by the looks of it. Where you go, baby? Tomato, steak. You know what? I'm just going to whack it in my gob and we'll taste what's on it instead of. Oh man, that is so chunky and so husky. You'll love to see it. It's time to whack it in my gob. Now, folks, tell me, does it get any better than this? I think not. Let's go again. Wow. Now, we all know, if you're having a steak singer, there's a good chance. If it's for cheap, it could be pretty tough steak but this stuff's doing all right I'm not having any problem chewing it escapee tomato can't let that get away Probably about the best steak sandwich I've ever had and best price. I'll tell you what, folks, I've got to give it. Everything's getting it lit. I'm loving it. Five stars out of five for value and taste. Never going to find better than this, I don't think. Now, with that being said, if your local takeaway can do better than this, not just a steak sandwich, the whole kitten caboodle, the whole combo, chips and a drink for 16 buckaroonies, let me know. And I'll tell you what, if it's in, if it's, if it's within a pretty good distance and I don't have to travel too far, I'll go and get it. If it's under 16 bucks, but not in another state. <laughs> that egg is just cooked to perfection. I'm loving it. Pretty messy state of affairs, but I ain't complaining. Well worth it. Well worth the mess. Now usually, well, usually when I go to places like this, just a local takeaway, I mean, when you go to Macca's, KFC, all that stuff, usually they'll chuck stuff in the bag like this stuff, serviettes, napkins. I always forget when I go in this local takeaway shop. But the service was that good, and it was done pretty quickly too. I was so impressed. Service was that good. They even gave me the napkins with when they handed me the food. So these guys, if you're in that area... Definitely well worth a try. Chips. Delis your soul. Bit of chicken salt. Can't go wrong. That thing. The steak singer. Bellissimo. Even though I've eaten a few of those chips, quite a few. Four bucks for the chips and a drink. That's a pretty decent amount of chips. And it just keeps coming. Look at this. My wait, there's more. There's even more. I'll tell you what, you could eat half of this and the chips and heat the rest up later. You have two bloody meals. I reckon. It's 
So I assume we haven't had the old Posito for a while. Sorry, not Posito. I think I had that last time I was there. That's why I'm thinking about it. Haven't had the old Kirk's Cream and Soda for a while. Let's crack it open. Give it a red hot swig. And we all know it's a pinky colour. Well, those of you who know will know. That's, ooh, man, that wasn't good. That went everywhere. Good thing we got all those serviettes. I was about to swig that buck. We'll pour it. Yamas. So 16 bucks, guys. I reckon you can't go wrong. Sweet little deal. And you know I'm as happy as a pig in mud. Let's get back to this. So they got everything right, the onion, beetroot, tomato, the whole kit and caboodle. So folks, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I don't want to put you through the rest of this. It's horrendous to watch, I know, but at least we know it's a decent steak singer. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Huru, and stay fresh. Can't wait to get stuck back into this. It's a doozy.